is a bit squid here and welcome to another tutorial in today's tutorial it's all about shooting so um i've got a very basic scene here as you can see i've got a little soldier icon here a little player here uh, obviously i'm here it's just nothing this is gonna be like the, this will be the controller and i've got an idle and a shooting state so the idle state you'll see him there if we zoom in You see there, that's his idle. And then if we deactivate that, and activate his shooting, you see he does a little thing for shooting. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is actually get him shooting. Now the animation part, you don't actually need. This will be showing you like how to create it. The animation I've done is just to make it more interesting. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to what your player would be. So this will be here. This will be where I control everything. Okay, and we're going to add an FSM. Now you don't need to do all of these. You could just literally have it to idle and then just when you press the button for it to fire. So this mine's just going to have a few extra steps. You don't need to do all of it, but I'm going to add for my four steps. We have finished on all of them. And then link them together into a circle. Okay. Okay. State one will say this is get key or get fire button. Uh, I'll say press fire. Here we'll say switch to fire animation. Then we want to want to wait and then switch to idle animation. Okay, so for the purpose of this one, we'll say get key down. Okay, and then in here, we're gonna want to have activate game object. We want two of those and then a next frame event. Okay, here we're gonna want literally to wait. And we can close that because we can just copy our animations from here. So in this case, I'm gonna say my fire button will be my return key or the enter key. I'm gonna send that to finished. And then here, we're going to activate. So in this case, I'm going to activate my shooting animation. And then deactivate my idle animation. And then I'll go to the next frame event. Finished. Here, wait. So you want to work out how long your animation will last. So I'll say 0.3 seconds, I think, would be enough. And put finished and tick there. Then we can just copy these here. And paste them into here. But all we need to do actually then is swap around. So that's going to become deactivate. And this one will come activate. Okay, so now if we hit play, I will zoom in or make the play screen bigger. So we hit return or enter. 
you'll see he does a little animation change and goes back. I'll see he's got no movement on this one. Literally he just fires. Okay, so what we want now is actually to make a object appear, in this case the bullet. So we will, in this case, I'm gonna create a new prefab. So I'm gonna create a sprite. You may have your own already. So in this case, I'm gonna use this circle here and call this my bullet. Okay, um, I'm going to create a uh, new tag here. So we can add tag, I'm gonna call this bullet. I'm gonna tag my bullet as a bullet. <clears throat> and I'm gonna add a rigid body 2D to it. Uh, gravity scale set to zero. And I'll freeze the rotation on a Z, although technically it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. And let's make it, say, a black color. It'll contrast well. And then I'm just gonna scale this down to make it smaller. Okay, so on here, we're gonna want to have uh, an empty game object. I'll show what I mean. I shouldn't have that there. So I'm gonna right click and add create empty. And we'll call this fire point. And then I'm gonna add a tag so I can actually see it. Okay, and where is my fire point? Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, fire point, okay. So it's gonna be, it's here at the moment. So let's activate, deactivate my idle. I'm gonna activate my shoot. Okay, there we go. No one one. Move the fire point. So you wanna make sure that it's not gonna to be touching our collider where it appears because it could affect how it shoots. So we've got the fire point there, okay? And the bullet. So we'll turn you off for now, activate our idle. Okay, so for the bullet, we want just literally to add a state here. We'll call this movement. And we're just gonna say set velocity 2D. So like I say, you probably got this already. Uh, I want this to move, uh, obviously right. So I set it to a speed of like eight for now, and then every frame, and this is uh, bullet move, All right? And just to make sure that it isn't going to clog up anything, we're gonna add an action here, add state. I will add another one here. So I'll set an example here, finished. Okay, and then let's say hit. Okay, I'm gonna both go to the same thing because they're gonna do the same thing, okay. So first of all, we're gonna add a weight and then a trigger enter. Trigger 2D event. Let's make sure we have a collider on the bullet. So we're gonna to want to have, say, let's put a polygon collider. It's probably gonna map it better. Run a circle and make sure it's a trigger. Okay, and we want to have a collide tag. So let's add a new tag. So again, just clicking here and add new tag. Move that down, add tag. And let's just put enemy for now. Okay, we don't need to tag anything as an enemy at the moment. We'll create something in a minute just to act as that. So we're gonna say collide with enemy and then hit. And then otherwise, wait. Let's say five seconds, finished real time. And then in here we want to destroy self. Yep. 
in real time. Okay, and we'll call this one hit or clean up. Okay, and then we're just gonna drag that into our assets to create a prefab. We can then delete you. On shoot, what we're gonna do is just add one FSM called fire. Okay, and we'll create an object. Make sure it's object, not an empty game object. Okay, and spawn point, you're gonna put your fire point in here. So spawn point, fire point, and then game object, we're gonna choose assets, bullet. And we'll say here, create bullet. And that is it, if we hit play, let's make the play scene a bit bigger. So you'll see now we're idle, we hit fire, and we have a bullet up here. And you'll see here where it says bullet clone, after five seconds they'll disappear. Okay, let's just add a sprite, let's add a square, pop him over there. Okay, let's give him some color so we can see him, let's make him red. And then let's add a box collider, 2D, which is a trigger. Okay, and I'll add a rigid body just to make him drop down. Z. Okay, and all we're gonna do here is add an FSM, let's make sure we tag him as an enemy. So again, the tag you should know is here. Sorry, wrong one, here. <clears throat> okay, and we want two events. Here we're gonna have a uh, trigger 2D event. We've finished, go to here. Okay, so collide tag will be bullet, send event finished, and then here we'll have destroy self. Okay, so we'll zoom in, hit play. You should drop down because of gravity scale being one. Okay, that's why, okay. We'll uh, make that into a solid, not a trigger. It'll still work. Okay, there we go. And now we hit fire. Oh. And there we go. Both destroyed. And that is it. That is how to fire bullets or create a bullet shooting. Um, hopefully, if this tutorial is helpful, hit the like button and also subscribe for more tutorials for me. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.